Hello and welcome to the Blood and Pigment channel. I'm Joseph and this is the first in a series of videos on how to build a ship in Blood and Plunder. Ships are an integral part of Blood and Plunder and you'll want to add uh, to build a small fleet as you uh, work through enjoying the game. They can be a bit of a challenging hobby project, especially if you haven't done anything like this before, which was the case when I started the game. I had to kind of just figure it out, but um, I'm here to give you kind of a sequence of how to approach the project and some resources to help this process be easier and quicker so you can get to enjoying the game. It can be a fun hobby project, but first we're going to look at what we get in the box, what your ship kit includes, and then we're going to do a bird's eye overview of the different things we're going to do to get this ship on the table. All right, let's look at what we get in the box when you buy a ship kit from Firelock Games. The biggest and most important piece is your resin hull. These are really nice models, very detailed, uh, usually very clean, but there's always a little work that needs to be done to them. So there's your hull. Then we got your set of dowels for your masts. You'll be gluing these together using uh, these MDF pieces uh, to create your mass put your rigging on. You have your rigging line. This is elastic line. It's one millimeter I think or 0.8 millimeters is even better. Sometimes I buy the 0.8 stuff if I use a lot of line on a ship. Um, that'll be part of the last part of the process here. We got our basic instructions. This gives us a uh, pattern for how to put the sails on and what uh, lines to run for rigging. Plus it names all the different parts on your ship and tells you where they go with the number and letter coding system. So that'll be important. Then we got our metal pieces. We Every ship comes with a full set of light cannons. If it's a larger ship uh, it will come with cannon tips like this brigantine here. It has some gun ports in a gun deck or a covered deck and on some gun tips you glue into holes there. If you're using a bigger ship it'll have those. You have your swivel guns, you have your little uh, gun port hatches which are the royal <laughs> pain. And then last you have your stack card. You won't need this for construction but you'll probably want to laminate this or put it in a nice sleeve so you can use a dry erase marker on that for gameplay. That's what you get in the box. Now let's look at a overview of the, I'm going to divide this into four big uh, steps for approaching this project. Okay, the first of the four steps that I'm going to cover here is preparing the hull. So like we said, the hull is a, is a great piece, but it needs a little bit of cleanup. It invariably has some flashing in the gun ports. Sometimes in between these uh, skids it has some extra resin you need to take out. Using a file and knife you can clean this up real good. Sometimes, especially in the back, um, there can be maybe a couple bubbles that you need to fill in with green stuff, but no, I hardly ever do that. Uh, this beakhead usually needs a little bit of cleanup there. So first thing, we're going to clean up the hole. Then we're going to wash the hole. There's always some release agent on resin and you want to get the resin in the best uh, shape you can before you paint it. So wash it, soapy water, warm water, rinse it and rinse it and rinse it again. Make sure there's no soap left on it. And then last thing we're going to do to prepare the hole is glue these chain plates in place. These actually glue into the hole here. You might have to shave them down a little bit to make them fit but you want to glue that in before you prime. Second step will be painting the ship, painting the hull. Uh, so you want to prime it. I use just a rattle can RE painter. Um, it can take a couple sessions to prime it just because it's a big piece and you have to hold it. So uh, prime it and then there's a couple different approaches to painting. In our second, our third video we're going to cover several of those approaches that have satisfactory results um, and at this point we're going to paint the cannons too 
And then these little guys, this is an annoying step. If you want to use these, you don't have to use these, especially on a smaller ship, they didn't always have gun port covers, at least that's my understanding. But I usually like to paint the hole, and then I have to prime these and paint them, and then glue them into place on the painted hole. If I glue them on first, then it's very difficult to paint behind it, and it just becomes messy. So I usually paint the hole, prime these, glue them on, and then paint them. And then paint our cannons. So then your hole is all in shape. But then step three on our fourth video, we're gonna look at assembling the masts. So we got these pieces, we got uh, this basic plan. If you go to Firelock Games website in their download section, they have a, a bit more detailed plan. It's basically the same, but the good thing about this set of templates is it has your sale templates. So these are the correct size if you print them with normal print settings. And these are valuable because they help you glue your mass in correctly. So on the sloop it has this huge gas sail. So you can use this to help set out and glue your masts. So cut out this template, put it in place, use the MDF pieces and the dowels to glue your masts into the right shape, um, and then paint those masts. There's a couple different approaches to painting those as well. And then glue it into the hole of the ship. Some people don't glue uh, their masts in, but I like to. I think it's worthwhile. And then we have a painted ship with masts on it. We're ready for the last step, which is create sails and rig your ship. Several different approaches to creating sails. You can buy some. These ones are really, really nice. Seamon's uh, quality sails. These are cloth, really well done. Um, but sometimes you can spend more on accessories for your ship than the ship itself, and the ships aren't cheap. So. I'm going to use a very simple and very cheap approach. I'm going to use heavy paper, cardstock paper you can buy at Hobby Lobby. Uh, just an off-white color, something like this. I'm going to lay those templates out, cut them out, and then just use some simple techniques to make them look a little more realistic with a pencil and some paint. And then we're going to, uh, using this line, attach those sails to the masts, and then your ship is finished. That's our broad overview. We're going to make four videos looking at each of those topics in detail. Um, before you get started, you'll want to do a, a gather a couple things. Most of what you need comes in this kit here. You will need that paper, so buy a medium or large size uh, piece of off-white uh, heavyweight paper print out these sale templates from the Firelock Games website. Tools you'll need include the usual suspects of a uh, hobby knife, you'll want some scissors for uh, working with the sails, you want paint brushes obviously for painting, um, you might want to drill, sometimes you want to drill to if these uh, little ports for the Swivels aren't clean. A file can help with the cleanup, especially on the gum ports. I use flush cutters when I'm using the rib, uh, rigging, but scissors can work. And then one other tool that I find very helpful is this uh, 1 16th inch round hole punch. I find it really useful in uh, punching holes for the rigging. So that's a 5 or $6 tool. Well worth its uh, cost, in my opinion. I got that at Hobby Lobby. There's other stuff you can do to fancy up your ship. You can add more rigging than this um, plan um, presents. You also can get the Firelock Games uh, ship accessory pack. It has an anchor and a lantern and a whip staff or a rudder kind of uh, thing. Uh, those can add some interest to your ship as well. But we're not going to really cover those. I might touch on. But that's our overview. Uh, that's a good sequence. Everything will make sense that way, I think. Um, so I recommend you get some paper, gather the tools you need, um, print out those templates, and I'll see you in the next video where we clean up this hole and get it ready for painting.
Thanks for watching.